1996, I was appointed as UK Web Focus, based at UConn in the University of Bath. In my first year, my director asked me to organise an event for university web managers. The first IWMW event was held at King's College London in 1997. There was clearly an, event, an interest in the event continuing, so it did, from 1997 until 2019, when COVID scuffled plans for the next event, which was due to be held at Dundee University. Right from the start, a decision was made that the event should move around the country. But the workshop aspect was paramount, and we used a variety of approaches to facilitate community discussions and sharing. We recognised the importance of nurturing the community and providing opportunities for informal networking. Looking back, I have some facts and figures which I could share. There have been over 3,400 participants over the 23 years. That's an average of 150 every year. And the average rating on a scale of one was poor to five is excellent, was 4.2, which is fantastic. Of course, contributing to a national event as a speaker or facilitator can be scary, especially for novice speakers or those who are new to the job. But it can also be rewarding and valuable in terms of one's subsequent professional development. Here are some reflections from one IWMW Stallworth who's reflecting on her IWMW love affair. Claire Gibbons has been co-chair of the event since 2017 and I'd also like to mention another co-chair, my former colleague Marika Guy. IWMW was founded in 1997. 26 years later it's time to event to be renewed under I think a new name, a new owners and a new community. I'm confident that Claire and Usaiza will continue to grow and develop the events and the community of practitioners in institutional web and digital services. Hope it goes well. All the best. Thank you.